Hello YouTube and welcome to another AdCar tutorial. So in my last video I showed you how to install AdCar Home as an LXC container on Proxmox and in this video we'll go deep into the settings configuration and we will review something that you can change in your AdCar Home config. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see I am on the interface of my AdGuard home so I will log on using the credential that I have set up during the install process so I'm signing okay so we get this dashboard so the first thing that I usually do is to actually change the team to a dark team so if you go here to the bottom you can see three actually buttons so there is an auto based on the color scheme of your device there is a dark team and light team so by default i'm using the light team but i can change that to the dark team okay so here we go so now i can have a clear view of what's going on okay so at the top you can see some actually statistics like uh, dns queries blocked by filters and also blocked malware or phishing we have also some blocked adult website okay and from time to time you can just hit this refresh statistics in order to refresh the statistics okay and as you can see here at the top adguard home is on but you can disable it for a period of time for example for 30 seconds one minute one hour or until tomorrow so if I hit for example I want to disable it for one minute you can see that Adgar now is disabled and it's off okay but let's not do that in order to view settings okay so as I told you here you can see some general statistic also the client that you will be using here okay so here by default it gave you just the IP addresses of the client but you can customize that for example I can just copy this copy address and if you know what is the device related to this IP address you can just go to the settings client settings and you can add it just here okay so all you have to do is to fill in the client name so for example here this is my workstation and here i will enter the ip address of it okay and i will hit save so now if i return back to my dashboard i can know which device is related to my IP address so I can do the same for my iPhone here for example I will copy it and go to the settings client settings and I will add it and also so as I told you this is my iPhone and I will add it so it will appear on the dashboard here for the client so I know which device is using which uh, actually uh, statistics and also it's good if you go to your query logs you can see underneath each IP address the device name so you can see what's going on what's blocking what's filtered etc okay so let's finish up with our dashboard so here all statistics top block domain top queries domain etc okay but the most important thing for me is the average upstream response time so here you can see the different response time for the upstream dns server so here you can see this dns which is actually google dns 4.2.2.2 is actually faster than the quad 9 dns so you can just use that one if you want so i will show you where you can change that okay 
So now let's go and see some settings. So the first settings is or are actually the general settings. So if I click on general settings, so normally you can just hit this one, use AdGuard browsing security, which gives you the most important actually uh, security features for AdGuard. But you can also add this one here use AdGuard parental control web services so by default it's off but you can check it in order to enable it so AdGuard home will check if the domain contains adult material okay it uses the same privacy friendly API as the browsing security web services so for me actually I always check those two okay and if you want actually to use also some safe search for the different search engine you can check this box if you want for the famous uh, search engines okay so here you have Bing you have Google you have Yandex and also YouTube okay and at the bottom of the page you can find some log configuration so of course you have to enable log to see what's going on and also for the query log retention you can tweak these settings if you want and of course whenever you change some setting you have to hit the save button okay so you have also the retention time for the statistic so by default it's seven days but you can actually uh, make it more like 13 days if you want and finally I will save that so there is not much to configure here so the, actually this uh, general settings for the other guard web services is the most important one okay so let's go to another very important settings which are the DNS settings so as I told you by default here AdGuard uses as upstream quad 9 servers but of course you can add more so you can just open this list of known DNS providers in another actually tab and go into it and here you can just copy and paste the DNS you want okay so me i'm using always the dns over https because it encrypts actually traffic between your server and the dns servers so it's better to add at least two so for example i'll always copy this one here and you have to paste it in each line so i'll copy the dns server for other guards and can also for example search for Cloudflare DNS which are very famous so of course you have Bebas DNS you have other famous DNS providers but as I told you I will just actually use the Cloudflare DNS so always pick up the DNS over HTTP in order to encrypt traffic okay so I will just paste it on another line okay so here I have three DNS and also here I will choose parallel requests so here the ad guard will actually query all the three DNS at the same time and pick up the fastest one okay so this is a parallel requests but you can also find the fastest IP addresses if you want it will query each DNS and pick up the fastest also one but me I always choose this parallel request which gave me better results and here you can also add some fallback DNS server so a list of fallback DNS server used when upstream server are not responding so in case all these DNS are not responding or one of them is not responding actually all of them is not responding it will pick up the full DNS server so you can just add the Google one if you want 
and for the other settings you can just leave them as there is and there is here the test upstream server it will test the tree that we have added so here they are all responding and working correctly so everything is okay so I can just hit the apply button in order to set up these three DNS servers that we have added okay for the other DNS server configuration I will keep them as default the most important one is this one here enable DNS sec so set DNS sec flag in the outcoming DNS queries and check the result so this is also very important feature that we can talk about it in another video but uh, actually it's good practice to enable it also okay here the blocking mode so by default whenever site is blocked I will get actually this 000 as a response and not the real IP address of the website that is actually blocked you can also use the refused but for me I guess this one first one is the best one so the response will just be some zeros so I will save that okay and for the other one I guess there is no need to change them okay so this is it in this section I will go now to another important one actually this one is a little bit difficult to configure which is encryption settings so here for example as you can see here this site which is actually my uh, Adgard home server is not using certificate which is not secured it's not recognized by my browser here you can just enter or generate or uh, provide SSL certificate in order to make your certificate of web uh, server trusted but for that you need a domain name that you have to input here and you need also to generate a certificate for example with let's encrypt or another provider but for us I will just use this one because this is my home server so I don't need this SSL certificate but if you want to add SSL certificate this is the place where you have to do that okay so there is also the, the client settings so the client settings I talk about it so you can just add or associate a name for the IP addresses so in order to appear actually on your dashboard or query logs so there is nothing much here to configure we have already set up that so here I will not go into the HCP settings which are very actually obvious for the GSCP server so if you have if you have set up a GSCP servers you can actually tweak the settings here okay so now I will go to another important actually uh, settings which are the DNS block lists so here by default AdGuard is using this AdGuard DNS filter which are actually just five or 75,000 actually slides but actually you can add another block list so all you have to do is to add the block list here to click on this button here and to choose from the list so of course you can here find a bunch of block lists so you can for example use the Peter Lauer's block list if you want Steven block list which are very famous and also you can go to the bottom a little bit and choose other one okay for example I will choose this one here so this is the regional uh, block lists but there are some security also block lists so you can block for example fishing URL and uh, fishing army which are also very famous you can also add uh, malicious URL block lists so whenever you actually use or add another block list the response time will be a little bit uh, longer because it will scan all this block list in order to see if they are on the list or not 
So if you hit save, you will see that now we have added 3000 or actually a lot of more work lists because they are getting downloaded. So here you can see that I have now a very consequent number of block lists. So you can do that if you want. If you don't want, you can just stick with the two or three top ones if you want. Okay. So this is also the most interesting things. So here the DNS rewrites its another concepts. But I will go here to the block services, which are also very important. So here you can block special service if you don't want your client to reach it. So for example, you can block, I don't know, Netflix, for example. So all you have to do is to click on this button. So in this case, Netflix will be blocked. You can block some other site like, uh, for example, OnlyFans. Okay and also you can block snapshot so here are specific services that you can actually block from here okay so this is also very important you can also block youtube if you want you can add uh, facebook if you want so i will just hit save so this is also most interesting feature that you can actually tweak in your adguard home okay and the most important thing for uh, log viewing is this query log. So here you can see all the query logs that are performed by your clients. And as I told you, underneath each IP address, you can see the rename of the device that you have provided. Okay. So here by default, it will display all the queries, but you can filter for example, the filtered or for me, the most important thing is to see the blocked ones. So you can see the blocked, you can just choose the blocked and here you can see what we have actually blocked using our DNS filters. Okay. And there is this, you can click on these three dots in order to unblock a specific query if you want. Okay. Or this allow this client if you want. So also this is very interesting features that you can also need in order to unblock specific service that was blocked and you want it unblocked without actually allowing all the block list that you have actually entered uh, into the block filters. Okay. And finally you have the setup guide. So you can see how to configure actually add guard for the different devices or the different clients. So you have your router, you can actually add add guard to your router or Windows machine, Mac OS, Android, iOS, like iPhone or so. So in my eyes, this is the most important actually settings that you have to set up into your add guard server. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't need or you don't miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestion for future video, there are them in the comments below. So as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.